we're here with Russ and Lori Taft, who are receiving the Golden Note Award from the ASCAPs. I'm sure you are so excited. What does this award mean to you? Well, Tori and I started riding when she was 17 and I was 19. And it, was, it has always been such an intimate part of us to uh, write about things that are important because, you know, people will forget that I was a singer eventually, years from now, but they'll remember the songs. And that's thrilling. That's just thrilling to be able to leave a marker for those that are following that these songs were so important. Um, and so I'm thrilled about this. I'm just so thrilled. It's personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what song to you means the most that you've written? That's like picking children. It's just kind of hard. Right. <laughs> but, you, you know, uh, the, I heard him rehearsing uh, Eagle Song. Mm -hmm. And that, that, uh, that song, we wrote it. My brothers had gotten home from Vietnam. And that time in our country, there was uh, it's the first war that was fought on television. And I have such memories of mom and dad watching TV at the 530 News to see if they could see anybody coming out. And it's like we got disenchanted with everything. And so we started with this idea. Have you ever seen a baby's hand put their hand around you? Have you seen an eagle fly? There's so much mystery in this life. And you have to pursue it. You know, you can't just wait for it to jump on you. But that's what we did. But that song means so much. And tell me about Still Believe, the book and the movie. We're so excited to see how well it's doing. What does that mean to you to get your testimony out? Well, she wrote it mainly, so I'll let her. <laughs> um, it's been amazing. Uh, this is not something we went looking for. It's something that happened, and it was a two-year process for the documentary and a really quick process for the book. And the response to it has been astounding. Um, apparently, this is a conversation that needs to be happening among people of faith. And when one person steps up and comes out of the shadows and says, this is what happened to me, it encourages a lot of other people to come too. And that's Absolutely. what's happening. Because the opioid crisis is in the church also, mm -hmm. right. you know. All so, of it is in the church. So also. we deal a lot with shame. And that was my deal that led me to drink. Um, and trauma from my childhood that held me captive. And with this, with this documentary in the book, we're able to address things like that because those years are so important in our development. But um, I, I don't know. And, and, and when it, it was God's uh, favor for Tori because she's been talking about writing a book. And she did write one years ago. But this one, it's... It, it, it's, it just celebrates her as a writer, and it made me so excited that, you know, delight yourself in the Lord, He'll give you the desires of your heart, and that's been my career. That's been our career in our lives. Well, thank you so much. Huge congratulations. I can't wait to see you tonight. Thank you, Jim.